This is one of my favorite amps. It's a 1977 Princeton Reverb, and I uh, especially like the sound of it cranked up. But um, since I live in a house with my wife, she doesn't necessarily like it cranked up at all. So I just purchased this uh, Tone King Iron Man 2 Mini Attenuator, mostly because I like the sound of the Tone King amps, but didn't want to pay the money for one. And um, was experimenting with it today to uh, to see how it sounded with a lot of attenuation, but with the amp cranked up. I don't have it turned on now, but I had it cranked up to uh, seven on the volume. And um, was playing through this Telecaster with uh, Lawler P90s that I just built up, and um, no other pedals were used. Uh, pretty much straight into the amp and uh, let you hear what it sounds like. Okay, so what I did is I recorded the um, guitar solo into a looper pedal and played that loop over and over again, all at different attenuations. Here you can see the, it was the Princeton Reverb amp using the Audio-Technica microphone at zero dB, meaning the amp was not attenuated at all. Uh, there's uh, also SM57 mics, so both mics there. They're panned left and right, and then I would attenuate it. So here's the next attenuation level, minus 3 dB. Again, both mics left and right, minus 7 dB, minus 11 dB, minus 15 dB, minus 25 dB, and minus 35 dB. Once I got all those recorded, I went in and lined them all up in terms of timing manually, and then I had to go back and uh, mute various combinations so that I could jump back and forth, for example, between the unattenuated settings up here and fully attenuated. And I would purposely do it in the middle of where the guitar was playing, not in the silent part, so you could really hear if there's a difference um, when, the, uh, when, when the switch happens. So I'm going to play this now and capture the screen recording, and then I'll match it up in uh, iMovie, and uh, you can hear it for yourself. Here we go. So, what'd you think? I gotta say, uh, even with uh, even with studio headphones on uh, and switching from track to track, I could barely hear the difference as I as I switched. Uh, this thing really uh, works as advertised. Um, and you know, for what I want to do, which is being able to record my amp when it's naturally overdriven without pissing off my wife, uh, this is exactly what I was looking for. I didn't really want to change the tone of it. Um, you certainly, of course, it isn't the same experience when the amp volume is up and it you know bass is hitting you in the chest and the room is vibrating and stuff like that it is a different feeling but in terms of being able to get the sound you want uh, the overdriven sound at a reasonable level uh, it's it really works well i should also point out that i only used it uh, in this recording on the high range if you switch to the low range it goes so low that it's, it's almost uh, inaudible it's kind of useless in my mind uh, and um, also the present switch. So 
with the present switch when you're near the maximum attenuation levels like this max and then the next click oops sorry the maximum level there or the next click down there's some extra high frequency uh, in the signal so you want to switch that down and roll some of that off down to minus 6 db that's what i did during the recording uh, for the two middle levels i had it at minus 3 db and for the least attenuation levels those two levels i had it at 0 db so again, uh, fairly expensive unit, but um, really works well, works as advertised. And uh, you guys take care.